Pop. We're a nonprofit here in Boston that works with awesome young classical musicians like these kids who you're going to hear from today. <laughs> Fenway Park, not only America's oldest ballpark, it's America's most beloved ballpark. Fenway Park loves to have her picture taken. Let's take a couple of steps forward. I want to point out this uh, uniform hanging up here. Boston Strong Art Slogan 617 is our area code. In the aftermath of the marathon, brought the whole city together. We capped off the 2013 season by winning the World Series. day-to-day -day job like? Some of my best days I spend more time working with our charitable foundation. We have the largest team charity in pro sports. All right, this is our Hall of Fame. We have more than just former players. We also have former broadcasters. We have former field managers, general managers, but certainly most of the members of our Hall of Fame are former players. Our capacity here at Fenway Park for tours, we have increased uh, significantly since 2002. Tours originated in 1993, where we had about 35,000 people come to the ballpark. Now we have, again, closer to 300,000. Get your cameras ready. Visiting team clubhouse, come in, walk around, take photos, and we're going to come back up. Here we go. Grass you're looking at right now is a Kentucky bluegrass. We're going to continue to the scoreboard. We have three people who run the scoreboard. Uh, one does our score by innings here at Fenway. One does the American League scores. One does the National League scores. Fenway Farms, this was planted earlier this season in the spring. We have over a thousand milk crates there each one having a different organically grown vegetable or herb. If I choose to look at the ballpark, everything from the roof up has either been added or renovated since 2003. I can honestly tell you this is my 10th year giving tours of Fenway. This is the first time we've ever had a, a wonderful violin solo. So I want to thank you all for coming over to Fenway.